If you are into fitness and you are on social media, your feed is probably flooded with different gimmicks and pieces of equipment that they are trying to sell you. And across my feed, one of the most common things that I've seen is the belt squat attachment by Revolt Fitness. So the question is, we know that belt squatting is good for us, but is the Revolt Fitness attachment good for belt squatting? Let's find out. So while we do squatting on a regular basis, we understand that squatting with weight sometimes based on previous injuries or based on setup or just the area that you're in can be very challenging for people, specifically someone that has low back pain. When it comes to squatting, one of the best ways to alleviate some of that stress from the lower back is by opting for belt squatting, which is why the belt squat attachment by Revolt Fitness creates such a great question. Is this a legitimate option? Well, there's a couple of things that I found were really, really beneficial. The number one thing was it is very cost effective. If you look at the list of belt squats that are available on the market, they're thousands of dollars at a minimum. The belt squat attachment is at just $219. Because of this, you don't have to guess and spend a lot of money to find out if belt squatting is right for you and if it feels okay. You can just spend the $200 and find out is this a legitimate cure to your issues of squatting and pain while doing that movement. The second thing that I found was most beneficial was it's a small footprint. It's not gonna take up a lot of space and because it's an attachment on your squat rack or your squat stand, you can add it onto the squat rack when you want to, and you can remove it from the squat rack when you want to. You don't have to worry about taking up a whole bunch of space, which makes it very, very convenient when you're going through your belt squatting setup. The final thing that I loved about it is it is more than just a belt squat. Most people, they see it as a belt squat attachment because it was made to answer that problem. But for anybody that's looking to have a different way to do deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts or rowing patterns, this lever system is a great option for an add-on that again is with a small footprint. So imagine doing any of the pulling exercises you would do with a landmine, but take it to a smaller imprint. And now you have it as something that stows away very easily and attaches to your rack that you can load up all the way you want to and use in many, many different ways. There are a couple of things that we would like to see changed with this piece of equipment or developed over time to make sure that it can maximize whatever you're looking to do. The number one thing is the lever for this belt squat is a little bit different from what you would see with a traditional belt squat. Because of the height and because of its 30 inches in length, it's gonna put you in a difficult spot when it comes to setup and making sure that you can get optimal depth specifically through a squat. With most belt squats, you're allowed to go as far down to a squat as possible, going into full range of motion. With the Revolt Fitness belt squat, because of its position and because it's most likely to be blocked by the bottom of a squat stand or the rack, it's gonna minimize your depth into almost a quarter squat. So if you're expecting to use this belt squat attachment by itself and get into a full squat, that's most likely not going to be the answer to your problems. You would need extra implements in order to accomplish that. The second thing is when it comes to belt squatting specifically, most times you're gonna start from the standing position and then descend into a squat. With the Revolt belt squat, you have to begin in the bottom of a squat and stand up from that position. This reverse setup can make it a little more challenging for somebody because once you hook that belt in, you have to hope that you can squat up with that weight from the beginning, which makes it more challenging. The last area of improvement I would like to see is they made it so it's good and it's available for all different types of racks. But unfortunately, one of the things that becomes a flaw is it has a lot of maneuverability from side to side. There's gonna be wiggle room between your left and right. So if you do have any asymmetries in your hip strength or you have any stance issues when you're going through the belt squat, you're gonna find that you have more problems with the Revolt Fitness one because it won't fix them, it'll actually amplify them. And when it comes to squatting and using a decent amount of weight, which with the Revolt squat attachment, you can load up to 495 pounds. With that much weight, you don't wanna have any room for error from both sides. So when it comes to this attachment, who is this right for? Ideally, this is right for the home gym user that wants to have a great experience with belt squatting, but doesn't have the space or the money to accommodate a belt squat. This is not for the athlete or the person that is well-versed in what belt squatting traditionally feels like. I would argue that the belt squat attachment doesn't necessarily compete with belt squat machines. It competes with the free weight option, which is using a traditional dip belt 
or a belt squat belt and throwing free weights or kettlebells or anything else on the end. This is not necessarily a belt squat. This is merely an attachment to try and mimic and give you the feeling of what a belt squat should look like. I'm curious, do you think the Revolt Fitness belt squat attachment should be a part of your home gym or a part of your repertoire? Let us know in the comments and if you have any other piece of equipment you want us to review here at NH Strong, let us know.